Hey everyone and welcome to this video. As always, remember that you can go over to my Gumroad in order to download all of the project files that I use in this particular tutorial. You can check the link in the description down below. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. And this of course is just a photo of some of the gear that I use. I don't have a lot of really expensive stuff and I think my camera at this point is like five years old. So, um, you know, but hey, everybody likes gear photos, right? We all like to talk about the gear. So let's go ahead and edit this photo real quick. I took this with my cell phone, so I'm not going to bother with any sort of lens corrections. Let's go ahead and decrease the exposure until about there. And then let's increase the black a little bit. And then let's increase the saturation to about 20. Next, I'm going to come over to the sharpening tab and turn the sharpening on and increase the sharpening to something about, I don't know, maybe uh, 400. And then I'll also turn on the local contrast tool. So the only thing that I'm going to do besides that is head over into the transform tab and then come down to the straight line. And I'm just going to go ahead and select this straight line right here, just something like that. Okay. So let's go ahead and export that. For my export settings, I'm going to save it. I'm going to export as an 8-bit TIFF. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to keep this image as uncompressed as possible until the final step. So then I'm just going to go ahead and start the queue. Okay, now here we are. So the first thing that I'm going to do is hit Shift-C in order to open up my crop tool or just come over here and hit the crop tool and then in the tool options I'm going to choose fixed and aspect ratio and then I'm going to type in 1 colon 1 for a 1 by 1 aspect ratio and then I'm also going to make sure that this allow growing is unchecked and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, going to go ahead so you can see that I've run into a problem where the the way that I set this up in the initial picture I thought there was enough space above and below and to the right and the left of my gear in order to have a little bit of a border but that's not the case so instead let's go ahead and switch this uh, aspect ratio over here to a 4 and then a colon 5 and hit enter and then you can see that we have kind of a different aspect ratio so I'm just going to spend a little time making sure that that crop is just right. And this is kind of what I have come up with. So I'm going to hit enter in order to crop that. And then control shift J. First of all, let me come over to my layers tab and hit uh, control shift N. And just add in a new layer. And then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to hit C. Or I can come up here and click on this and choose the clone brush. And if I use my larger or smaller bracket button, I can actually do what we do in Photoshop and put in some cloning to take care of, of different spot, specs and spots there. So I'm going to click close to the spot that I want to remove. So I can control click right here and then go to the tool options and come down to sample merged. If I go back to the layers, I can make sure that my top layer is selected and then I can go ahead and paint and you can see that I've gone ahead and gotten rid of that spot, but it's on this new layer. So if I turn that off and turn it on, you can see it. And that will ensure that if I make a mistake, I can fix it easily instead of having that applied here to my image. Um, so then I'm going to go ahead and grab this right here. Uh, the next thing that I'm going to do is first merge my edits down. And then I'm going to come here to the colors tab and the shadows and highlights. And go ahead and just increase the highlights or the shadows a little bit. Just to bring some of that color back in. And there we go. I actually am really happy with this outside of one thing, and that is the crop. I'm going to zoom out by pressing the minus key. 
and then go ahead and I'm going to select the entire image and then in the tool options untick fixed and now I can actually bring in this so as long as we're within a 4 by 5 aspect ratio that should work really well with Instagram and then the final thing that we're going to do is I'm just going to control shift D in order to duplicate my image and then go ahead and select a soft light this effect can be replicated in raw therapy using the soft light tool but now we're just going ahead and take the opacity down to maybe something about 30 and you can see adds a little more contrast uh, while increasing the saturation so there we go here's the image I hope that this has been helpful for all of you if it has please consider dropping a like or a subscribe thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time